Hi everyone. Um, I've had to do this, redo this video as um, I was informed that my bank card was showing on the video. So I had to delete my previous video and do this one again. Um, so thank you to Louise, who is Thrifty Lou, for informing me that my bank details are on show for the whole world to see. Um, cause I didn't even realise that and I watched the video before I made it public <laughs> so it just shows you that I was actually watching what I was doing and not what was around me. Um, so this little journal, little vintage style journal, um, I've sewn in the signatures, the the cover is just cardstock and I it was black cardstock to start with but I did paint it black as well. Um, I gessoed it, I used some black acrylic and then I modge podged it to try and give that kind of leathery look. It's very lightweight, it's so light, it's unbelievable. Um, I tea stained all the papers and I just stamped on each one. So it's, you know, it's nothing spectacular, it's just plain, it's for to, you know, journal, um, add pictures to, tickets, etc. So I'll just do a quick flip through and I'm really sorry about the lights because it's just rubbish in here. Just using my uh, various amount of stamps. Um, some of the stamps I thought I'd actually ruined because um, I'd used stays on with them but I gave them a really good clean and today, well yesterday when I made this I used my distressing inks instead of the stays on um, so that was a little lesson learnt not to use stays on with certain inks <coughs> excuse me so I just used, like I said, a various amount of stamps different stamps and all the way through. Um, I did crinkle up the paper before I soaked it in the tea stain or the tea dye um, which gives a really nice kind of crinkly old look. <clears throat> um, I like how this has come out. I just used Baker's twine to, to bind it all together. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's my little journal simples. So quick and easy. I think in total, including um, tea dyeing the paper and drying it, it probably only took me about an hour-ish. Um, so that's that. I also um, made this the other day. I think it was not yesterday, the day before. Um, was bored, didn't know what to do. Thought, right, I want to make something. I want to make something quick. So I created this little, um, just a little kind of journal or notebook to pop into your handbag because it's so small it's uh, a six by four so I used a sheet of 12 by 12 and I cut it down to six by 12 and then I scored it at um, uh, four inch mark and then the eight inch mark so at four four inch intervals um, to create the little flap I just found the center point and cut cut off down to the the score <clears throat> on the first one which gave this look um, I added a brad which I just put a little circle on there to hide the backing of that wrapped some baker's twine around there and simple little journal um, I had made this one I haven't finished this one yet Oops, is it around the wrong way? yeah that's better um, I've still got to add stuff to this it's quite um, dark colours pinks and really dark um, like burgundies um, so I'm working on this as well the thing is I make these and then um, I kind of work on them when I've got nothing else to do or I can't think of anything else to do so that's that one simple little journals um, I've made this one too again still got to finish this off, lots of plain paper to, to write on and this is a great way of using up my scraps so there we go that's that and I've still got to finish this one which I've showed in a previous video um, this was inspired by Yoli Bean that's Yolanda um, and she'd done like a mixed media type cover using an envelope to create a little journal so I've started this one and as you see I've still got lots to do 
and my washi tape keeps coming a little bit undone. I think it's because it's been modge podged. So that's the inside and that's cover. So I hope to get them finished real soon. Um, we have got a new group opened up on the UK and Ireland. That's not actually on the UK and Ireland craft swaps. That's because it's the group that I already run. Um, a new group opened up. It's called Sell and Craft. I will put a link below. It's for you to sell your handmade items and like de-stash um, your goods. Um, you, you can't sell new stuff on there. Because um, there is a lot of legal requirements to selling new stuff, and obviously as a group you can't you can't actually do that. It'd be different if you were doing it on your own, um, you know, your own blog or your own website, um, because new stuff is there's it's just a little bit more tricky, and new stuff should have taxes paid on it, etc. So handmade stuff is fine to sell. You can de-stash your you know your unwanted stuff. You can sell your um, you know equipment that you no longer want because it's now then second hand um, so there is page rules and we will be updating them as we go along because things change all the time so I will put a link to that down below in the description box if you want to come over and have a look or sell your handmade projects or some de-stash you're more than welcome to um, thanks for watching bye